We're going to look at two theorems now, the first being the remainder theorem. And the remainder theorem, and then we're going to look at the factor theorem. The remainder theorem states that if we have a polynomial function, and we divide it by f of x divided by x minus c, then f of c is the remainder. In other words, if all we care about is the remainder, then an easy way to find out if we have it is to plug c in. Now notice that this x minus c is similar. This is just like synthetic factoring. It's the same condition. So, let's look at an example. Suppose then that f of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x plus 6, and I want to do know if I, what the remainder is when I divide by x plus 2. So we're going to find the remainder. And so what we're going to do is we're going to identify our c. Our c is negative 2 because we take the positive 2 and change its sign. And we're just going to plug that in. What is f of negative 2? So that's 3 times negative 2 cubed minus 2 times negative 2 plus 6. Well, negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Negative 8 times 3 is negative 24 plus 4 plus 6, and we get negative 14. Now, how can we be sure if that's right? Let's try synthetic division. We can put our negative 2 on the outside, and our numbers are 3, 0, because remember we're missing the x squared, minus 2, 6. So we bring down the 3, this is minus 6. 0 plus minus 6 is minus 6. Minus 6 times minus 2 is 12. Minus 2 times 12, or at plus 12 is 10. Minus 2 times 10 is minus 20, and 6 minus 20 is minus 14. Notice that the minus 14s match. Because of that, we know that we can use our remainder theorem to find the remainder. And this will always work so long as you can use synthetic division on the problem. Now the next theorem that we're going to look at is the factor theorem. And the factor theorem states if f of x is divided by x minus c and f of c equals 0, in other words, there's no remainder, then x minus c is a factor of f of x. In other words, this is one way of seeing what undoes the division or the multiplication of two polynomials. So we could almost get back to f times g if we started with h. And we're given x minus c. So to show this in practice, we're going to start with f of x equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 18x minus 8. We want to know, is x minus 3 or x plus 2 a factor? And so we're going to start by saying, well, in this case, c equals 3, and in this case, c equals 2. And we're going to find f of 3, 2 times 3 cubed minus 3 times 3 squared minus 18 times 3 minus 8. So 3 cubed is 27. 27 times 2 is 54. 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27. 18 times 3 is 54 minus 8. So the 54s eliminate. Minus 27 minus 8 is minus 35. Since minus 35 is not 0, the answer for x minus 3 is no. If we do the same thing, and I made a mistake, this isn't a c of 2, it's a c of negative 2. I'm sure you've just been waiting for me to come back and see that. So we plug in a negative 2 cubed minus 3 times negative 2 squared minus 18 times negative 2 minus 8. So negative 2 cubed is negative 8. That's a minus 16. Negative 2 squared is 4. That's a minus 12. Plus 36 minus 8. If I combine all these up, I get minus 36 plus 36, which is 0. So sure enough, this is a factor. And since it's a factor, we can then use 
along or our synthetic division with our minus 2 on the outside, our 2, minus 3, minus 18, and minus 8 on the inside, and see that our result is 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 is the other factor when we divide by x minus 2. So the two factors are 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 and x plus 2. And if we wanted to check that, we could multiply these together and we'd get our result.